Really, really enjoying rehearsals. It's been quite a few years since we last revisited the show, so to come back into it is, uh, is a real joy. Intense, I think, because of how short the process is. It's only one week until we open. But now that it's getting up on its feet, now that we're actually getting into it, it's becoming a lot more understandable and it makes more sense now, I think. Rehearsals have been very fun. They are hard work, though. So it's lovely when everything comes together and all the music and the action all comes together. It, rehearsals are really interesting. It's a while since I've done anything that's like this. And the music of this show is quite varied. There's a Gilbert and Sullivan pastiche. There's a, a kind of Andrew sisters a close harmony thing as well. And a wee bit of going on as well. I've, uh, I've not worked the Fringe before. I've, you know, I've visited friends here before and, and seen shows and, and experience the incredible atmosphere but I'm really excited to be a part of it this year. It's a difficult show to describe. I mean it does follow Alan Turing's life pretty much chronologically right? and it delves into his relationships and what was behind things that were happening in his life and it focuses on the difficulty that many people had in the war of doing secret work so they had big gaps in their CV and they couldn't tell anybody about it. I would describe it as a sort of love letter to Alan. It's about Alan's life and it's about his work and it's about his role in the Second World War. But it's also about his um, paranoia towards the end. That's how they, they play it. A different side to the whole Alan Turing story, I feel. The main thing I knew was the imitation game. So I was looking at all like this whole idea of him but then looking more on like the romantic side, emotional side of him, as well as having a constant pressure from the government and lots of things, but you don't notice that until later on. They should expect a beautiful show full of wonderful music that will hopefully move them very much. It shows the, the tragedy of the fact the judge in his case couldn't really take into consideration everything he'd done. New writing, a new musical, but I would say to the audience that it's very serious and very emotional in places. There's a lot to unpack, so I think the audience are going to go away still maybe confused about a few things, but then also understanding halfway through, oh, that's why they were there at this point and that's why this happened. It's a privilege to, to play him and I want to do it justice, you know, I want to make sure that it's, Alan would be happy with it. I think it's really important to be reminding people about Alan. His legacy of, you see it when every time you use an Apple computer or your Apple phone, his uh, scientific and um, computer legacy is there. The fact that they weren't able to say anything about it for so long, I think it's it's vital that everyone has that as a part of like history, like that just doesn't go away because it, at the end of the day, like they say, it did kind of win them the war and it could completely pushed aside because of legal reasons and then also because of the homosexuality side of it and everything but now that it's like we're in a different world I feel it's something that should be pushed more. I think it's really important to remember him he was an amazing man he did amazing things and he was treated really poorly um, considering all the incredible things that he did for, for the country but I mean just treated poorly in general no one deserved to go through that and a lot of people did go through that not just him. It's essential to remember who someone like Alan Turing is he lived at a time when it just wasn't safe to be who you actually were. Many people just kind of got on with it, and he kind of did, but you had to be so discreet about it. And of course for him being involved in the war as well, there was a, a threat that he would be blackmailed if someone found out. And then obviously of course we're playing into the emotional side with his private life, of which him being gay, um, there are still people today in the world who are persecuted for their sexuality and so we're mirroring both things, his legacy of being a homosexual man and his genius. It's important that everyone remembers what's, what happened, how it happened and why it happened at the same time. It's important to remember history and try not to make the same mistakes again. <laughs>